What's up, YouTube? This is Jay the Wanderer once again from Oakland Latinos Unidos, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos United, the voice of the Latino community in the Bay Area, the U.S., and beyond. So, yeah, I'm back on here making another video for y'all to enjoy. This one's going to be a little different than my other ones. This one's going to be about racism in America. This one's going to be basically about the whole racist attitude of the United States in general, period. The history of it and how it basically is still going on to this day. And before all you conservative idiots, all you God bless America crowd, hit me up talking shit. Listen to what I have to say. Because I know you guys are going to hit me up saying I'm an American. I'm a white back. Why don't I go back to Mexico? You know, I don't give a fuck about Mexico. I don't give a fuck about any other country but this one because this is the one where I live. I live here and basically what happens here affects me here. So I'm basically voicing the opinions about the Latino community here in the United States. And uh, about the issues in the United States. This one's, like I said, it's not really about the Latino community. It's about all of our fucking communities, basically. And it just, the reason I'm so mad is because this topic gets me mad. Because I'm so sick and fucking tired of it. You know, the United States is such a racist country. It's, it's like, that's all we care about. We're always stuck on race. Everything in this country is based on race. It's basically, you have to be black. You have to be white. You have to be a Latino. You have to be this, that. And the superior is always white. Basically, if you're white, you're on the top of the ladder from everyone else. And it's bullshit. You know, but the reason that is because that's the history of this country. It's been going on like that for the last, what, 200 years, 300 years. So, you know, the reason that is, is because this country has basically, <clears throat> how can I say, its whole history has been basically about bashing anyone who's not white. You know? This country started with the fucking pilgrims that came here, who invaded Indian territory, and then when the Indians didn't want them here, they had the nerve to kill them, and terrorize them, and basically... <clears throat> Extinct, extinguish them, and then the ones that were left, put them in these fucking little reservations, and have the nerve to say, that's your land, you're not part of us, your old land is our land, now that's yours, you know, they did that, and then after that, when the whites started coming to the south, they needed workers to work their fucking plantations, so they enslaved a bunch of Africans and brought them over here, and treated them like shit for like, what, 200 years, 150 years, something like that. Treated them like shit. Beat them. Dog them. You know, work them in the hot ass sun for nothing. And then have the tenacity to get mad when these blacks wanted their freedom. And then when the Civil War came, and the blacks tried to get their freedom by voting and being part of the system, the fucking redneck racist motherfuckers had the nerve to create organizations like the Ku Klux Klan and the NRA and the Black Legion or Black Union and all these organizations that basically terrorized the black community from then till now, which is because there's still those organizations still exist, you know, and this country lets them exist. And then let's go to the Mexicans. Yes, the Mexicans. Well, of course, many of you know the land of Aslan, which is basically California, Texas, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and parts of Colorado were all part of Mexico, of the Mexican government. Then the whites came here to Texas, mostly to Texas at first, and the problem was Mexico was liberated, what, in 1820? And Mexico was one of the first countries to abolish slavery. But the whites that came to Texas were slave owners, and when the Mexican government tried to tell them they didn't want slaves, they were like, no! You can't tell us not to have slaves. And basically when the Mexican government wanted them to convert to being Mexican, they revolted against it, which was, you know, basically they broke the law. They revolted against the Mexican government, started this war, and Mexico lost its territory. And it seems like Mexicans that, that have been in this land have been punished ever since to this day. You know, we've been punished ever since. And we're still being punished with the whole immigration and uh, the new Ku Klux Klan, the Minutemen, and idiots like Joe fucking Arpaio, the Nazi, you know, and I hope all you motherfucking Minutemen and Joe Arpaio are listening, fuck y'all, but anyway, yes, the new Ku Klux Klan has been created for the brown people, thank you very much, United States, thank you very much, but anyway, not just that, this country's so twisted, that when whites were coming here in boats, you know, basically the same as crossing the fucking border, like you, the stupid ass line you keep talking about, they kept coming to the shores into Alice Island like dogs on shit. 
You know what I mean? Like flies on shit. There you go. And, um, you know, this country was letting them in basically because they were white. They looked a, a certain color. They looked a certain way. And uh, they weren't a threat, I guess. But even within the white community, they discriminated the Irish. They discriminated them just as bad as they discriminated the Mexicans now. They fucking, you know, put articles in the paper. They were stealing jobs. That they were dirty. That their culture was nasty. And that they were... They were a bunch of Catholics. And, you know, a lot of them, when the Mexican-American War broke out in 1846, a lot of them went to Mexico and fought on the Mexican side. You know, because they said, fuck this. We're being treated like shit. Let's fight with these people. You know what I mean? Don't believe me. Look up the St. Patrick's Brigade. You know, the San Patricios. And then the Italians, too. You know, they were treated like shit when they came here. And the Jews. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And the Chinese. Oh, man, the Chinese. I know about them because... You know, they were treated like shit here in the very same land where I live, which is in the Bay Area. You know, they make some of the most racist laws against them. They lynched them, beat them, hung them. They organized racist KKK-like groups like the Minutemen to, to stop them. And they created the Chinese Exclusion Law. And then you had the Japanese Exclusion Act when they put all the Japanese in internment camps during World War II. So... That just goes to show you, bro, this is a racist country, it always has been, it always will be. Reverend Wright was right about everything he fucking said. Reverend Wright, Obama's pastor, everything he said was true. Not one thing he said was a lie. I dare you, I fucking dare you to hit me up and tell me what was a lie of what he said in his famous speech when he said, Goddamn America, you know what I mean? And I'm not really saying goddamn America. I'm just saying before you say God bless America, please say, God, please help change racism and the bullshit that's in America. That's what you should say before you say God bless America. <clears throat> because this country is not perfect. And like I said, I know this is going on in Mexico and Peru and Colombia and in England and Spain. And another racism is something that goes on in every country. But I don't care about what's going on over there. I'm not over there. I'm talking about what's affecting me here in the country where I live, which is the United States. And basically, the, this country has been and still is a racist country. Look at Obama. Obama might be the first black president ever. But Obama is the first is a black candidate and that's all he is to everybody a black candidate he's not a candidate <clears throat> like Hillary or like Bill or like Bush you know he's not a candidate he's a black candidate because this country is basically basically uh, hyphenated his race <clears throat> you know what I mean that's why you know in the US if you're a minority if you're a so-called minority black Hispanic Asian it's hard for you to say you're an American because you're always put in this category in this hyphenation you know you're a Mexican American a Colombian American a Peruvian American a Puerto Rican American you're a fucking African American a Asian Chinese American Japanese American you're not just an American that's why a lot of people of color in this country don't feel that they're part of the American landscape because the American landscape it's basically said that the real, true Americans are white Americans, white, rich, conservative Americans. And that's the same reason a lot of liberal-minded Americans don't feel that they're part of the American landscape. Because they feel that they're being, they can feel the pain from racism and, and liberal, liberal hateness and warmongering and all the bullshit that this country does to people. You know, and I'm not bashing the United States, I'm just bashing a lot of things that happen here. You know, because that's why we live here, because we have the freedom to say whatever the fuck we want. And this is one of the issues that I'm saying, you know. Oh, yeah, and also, now we're bashing the Arabs, too. You know, ever since 9-11 happened, <clears throat> whether you want to believe the official story or whether you want to believe the, the, um, the conspiracy theory story, now the Arabs, <clears throat> you know, we're scapegoating the Arabs. We're bashing them. We're calling them sand niggers. We're saying they're all terrorists, and, you know, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Please, America, please wake up. United States, wake up from this fucking racist brain deadness you guys have. Because I'm telling you, bro, if we don't change, this country's not going to progress a lot. As far as race is concerned, we haven't progressed at all. We're still a racist country. You know, we may not lynch blacks or, or you know, or fucking shoot Mexicans for no reason or, or shoot Native Americans for no reason anymore. We kind of do, but we may not do it so 
so big like they used to in the old days, but it's still going on. And systematically, this is a racist country also. You know, because it's always about white is on the top and everything else is on the bottom. And racism was really created by rich white elitists in order for poor whites won't side with the poor browns and blacks and everybody else because they felt it was a threat to their money if they did. So yeah, there you go. Even the founding fathers were slave owners. So that goes and tells you. Some of the founding fathers were Indian killers. But anyway, that's all I have to say on this topic. This is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jay the Wanderer once again from Oakland Latinos Unidos. Have a great fucking day. And God bless America. But please, before you bless America, stop racism. Stop all the other bullshit. God, come and check what's going on before you bless it. Alright then. I'm out. Late. <laughs>